Hello. Can you guess what this is? No, it's not the desert dwelling sandworm from Frank Herbert's novel Dune. It's actually a hummingbird's tongue. The hummingbird tongue is a fluid trap, not a capillary tube. Hummingbirds can extend their tongues great distances, in some cases, the length of their heads, to retrieve nectar. The tip of the tongue is a dynamic liquid trapping device that changes configuration and shape as it moves in and out of fluids. We used to think the dog's tongue scooped in or ladled in the water because they sort of turn their tongue backwards. But it turns out that's not what's going on. It really is an adhesion technique. High speed and x-ray footage reveals that dogs use sophisticated fluid mechanics to draw liquid into their mouths. As a dog's tongue touches the surface of the water, the liquid adheres to it, creating a water column as the tongue is drawn back towards the mouth. The dog then snaps its mouth closed just as the water begins to fall backwards towards the bowl. So, a hummingbird tongue is especially weird even for a bird because in addition to being really flat and not fleshy at all at the tip, it is split into two branches like a snake tongue is. It's bifurcated at the tip. Its long tube-shaped beak and its tongue are not the same size. In fact, their tongue is quite a bit longer than their beak. They can stick it out of their mouth as far outside their mouth as their beak is long. So they can stick it out really far, which is great for feeding from inside long, skinny flowers. When it comes to eating, we use our tongue to move food around inside our mouths. Hummingbirds use their tongues to catch their food to get outside the mouth, get a hold of the food, and bring it back into the mouth where they can swallow it. A lot like a lizard. So, the next time you see a hummingbird feeding, try looking very close and see if you can see his long tongue trapping the most juicy nectar. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.